Okay, got a surprise in the mail yesterday. Uh, another edition of... Oh, why is the light still on? Oh, well. Um, nerd block for the month. So, thought I'd do an unboxing and then we'll look at a couple other fun things as well. And I believe this was the 80s theme box. So, first thing. Yay, they included a pop. Bad thing. Pop box. Bent. Damaged. Kind of typical. Sorry. Bent. Damaged. Um, if you're going to put pops in boxes, you have to pack them pretty carefully. Um, 16 candles. Not a line I'm collecting, so I'm not really that worried about it. This will go probably into the next batch. It goes out to the swap meet. Uh, we had a local nerd swap meet last weekend, and it was very successful for me. But still like that they included a pop, and I believe... Uh, they did all of the different characters from 16 Candles, so it was kind of a variety. It looks like a Captain America mug. Uh, one that's sealed with... Uh, smaller than most of the mugs that have been coming in. Oh, really small mug, sorry. Um, it's cute, but dude, who drinks anything out of that? That's six ounces. Um, espresso, maybe? Uh, again, cute. Glad I got Cap. I believe this, you either got Cap or Iron Man. Sorry. Uh, so, there were a couple of options, again. So far, not bad, though. You get a pop, a mug... We know we've got a shirt, and there's a couple other things in there. So the shirt is uh, Rick and Morty. So let's pull that out. Um, kind of cool design. Not a big Rick and Morty fan, but uh, good t-shirts are always good t-shirts. Oh, a couple other kind of cool things in here so far. Etch a sketch sticky notes. Um, and I like sticky notes. I found they come in really handy if you're pricing stuff, like I said, for that swap meet. So this will actually be kind of cool to use. Oh. A small pin, a out of time, back to the future pin, license plate pin. Kind of cute. And. A very strange looking Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Um, the eyes are a little bit off on this. Cute. Like the outfit. Little plushies are always popular. And just their miscellaneous stuff. Um, so. Apparently they're going to do full phone cases. Next month we'll have items from Harry Potter, Goonies, and... More Ghostbusters with four exclusives. Uh, I actually stopped my subscription of Nerdblock uh, simply because too much stuff. Uh, as I found in prepping for the Nerd Swap Meet last weekend, I just have a lot of stuff. Um, not that it's been bad, I just I don't need it. And so we made that cut down. Okay, so a couple other things this week is we already got in this week's Funko Shop exclusive, which was the uh, nerd version of Freddy Funko uh, with his glasses. This actually went up on the site Wednesday and was delivered this morning on Friday, uh, so kind of cool. Uh, I think I'm up to eight Freddies now, but a nice addition to the collection. Also that came in this week is the, I've got the orange version of Raven, which is a Toys R Us exclusive that's just starting to hit the store shelves. There's also a red version uh, that actually is scheduled to be delivered later today. So more pops in because I sold a bunch. A couple of the pop lines that came out um, this week is the Ferris Bueller line. Um, 
and I love that it's his 30th anniversary. It kind of dates because I remember this movie really, really well, which is 1986. Um, they did three characters. They did a regular Ferris, a dancing Ferris, and Cameron. And this is regular Ferris. And this is dancing Ferris. A little different um, setup and the microphone. And then there is Cameron. And Cameron's probably everybody's favorite character in the movie because he's just Cameron. The world is ending. The world is ending. Um, how he's laughed that he's in a Red Wing jersey in Chicago probably never made him popular. Another wine that they I was able to find all of today, and which was really nice, is the Series 2 of Bob's Burgers, which has the Hot Topic exclusive uh, Gene in his burger suit which is really kind of a cute pop, uh, really different mold from a lot of them. Uh, this I actually got last week, but then I stopped at Hot Topic today, and they had the rest of the line. So they have, I was able to pick up Beef Squatch, which really is similar to Burger Suit Gene, except different head. We were able to pick up Teddy. Uh, clearly needed his own pop. And then the last of the second series is But Loose Tina. Because, well, why would you not want a But Loose Tina? So those were the additions at Hot Topic today. Uh, well, at the mall... Yesterday, today, tomorrow, and I believe Sunday, the, if you have a Lego store or the Lego store online, it's running a promotion with any $35 purchase, you get a exclusive Captain America on his motorcycle uh, Civil War Lego set, just a small 25-piece set. The only way you can get this is either online or at a Lego store with a $35 purchase. So this meant I had to spend at least $35 at the Lego store. Something that is very easy to do. And we did it by picking up the uh, Avengers Avengjet uh, space mission. Uh, one of the sets I don't have. I kind of liked this one because it has a Thanos figure as well as a Captain Marvel figure and Hyperion. So I thought this was a pretty cool set so I picked this one up and of course that would have been enough but it's the Lego store and it's never enough. So I also picked up, what are they calling this one? Uh, it's the pencil pot. So it's actually a little house, but it turns into a pencil case or pencil holder. Uh, and I thought that would be great for the set for my desk. So that was the additional set. And then there was one I had my eyes on that I thought was kind of cool just because it's a unique design. And that is the birthday cake, the Lego birthday cake, which actually has a little figure inside, a little happy birthday figure. Uh, so I picked that one up as well to get the uh, Captain America exclusive. So a good nerdy week. Lots of uh, nine new pops, actually ten new pops, uh, plus the nerd block stuff, plus some Lego. So lots of good fun for a geek.